Nemesis Fantasy footnotes. Today we're talking about the hiring of Doug Peterson and how it impacts the fantasy outlook for the 2016 Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, yeah, we got uh, Andrew Reed's boy uh, heading uh, head to, to Philly. Back um, to Philly. Yeah, uh, where he uh, got started there, you know, he was down the old totem pole coaching. He was like a quarterback's coach, I believe. Um, then uh, followed him to, to Kansas City. Took over the offensive coordinator job in Kansas City. Um, now he's landed as the head coach of the Eagles. Um, they made the big move in the draft to trade up and get Carson Wentz, but they still have Sam Bradford. What's going to happen? Uh, I don't know, a lot of questionable moves in Philly, uh, both last year and this year, uh, retracing a lot of the moves they made, uh, even like with the once move, they, they get Bradford, they re up him, and immediately they want to get the, the high upside young quarterback. Um, I think Carson Wentz most likely is the, the quarterback to target there. What do you think? Now, Sam Bradford is going to be the starting quarterback of the Eagles this year. Uh, I actually expect him to have a decent season if he can stay healthy, and that's a big if. The only way I see Carson Wentz starting is if uh, Bradford goes down. They also gave a lot of money to Chase Daniels. What are they doing? I don't know, but I don't want to rely on any of those quarterbacks, quite honestly. Um, running back, maybe just as confusing. Um, obviously, Chip Kelly ran three running backs, Ryan Matthews, Jamarco Murray, and Darren Sproles last year. Murray is out. Steps in Wendell Smallwood. That's your guy, Wendell Smallwood, right? I don't love his name, but I do love his uh, opportunity here to pick up a chunk of the uh, backfield share of the Eagles. I think he had a good year for West Virginia, over 1,500 yards, um, close to 10 touchdowns last year, really emerged in his junior year. Um, lands in a spot where he could e easily get some playing time right away. Yeah, I mean, he's going up against Ryan Matthews, who I feel like the fantasy community's never been able to peg down his value right. Uh, he came in, everyone loved him, he was really disappointed. He became pretty undervalued. He finally had a good year, maybe got a little overvalued, and sort of disappointing again. Uh, he probably was the best running back performer last year, even with DeMarco Murray hanging out there being uh, a stud and not performing like one. So, uh, I don't know, I, I, I feel pretty good. I might take Ryan Matthews late if he's available. Doug Peterson, uh, obviously, was overseeing Jamal Charles the last few years. That guy had some big years um, until he got hurt last year. So he has had a history of producing at the running back position as an OC, at least. Um, at receiver, um, Doug Peterson is the guy who oversaw the Kansas City Chiefs when they threw zero touchdowns all season to wide receivers. So might be a little bit scary to take any of these guys. Yeah, I think we'll... Uh... Well, a better performance out of the wide receivers at a, a, a Philly. We at got, least one touchdown? <laughs> at least one touchdown. Jordan Matthews, you know? Bold, bold predictions right here. <laughs> Coming down. We'll check this video after the season and see if that comes true. Uh, we got what? We got Jordan Matthews there. He disappointed last year after a lot of uh, excitement. We got Nelson Aguilar, who people loved coming into the year. He had a lot of injuries. Yeah, Aguilar, that's a guy you felt pretty good about. You and I had a good discussion for last year. I was really on the Matthews train. You were on the Aguilar train. It was a pretty lackluster competition. Too many Matthews in uh, Philly, but um, yeah, I drafted Na Nelson Aguilar in both of my dynasty fantasy football leagues and was very disappointed. Um, I don't really see him bouncing back because Doug Peterson, I, don't, I just don't trust him with receivers. Yeah, I think both those guys are probably going to go too high for either of our likings in drafts, potentially. A guy I was not disappointed about with the Eagles last year, Zach Hurts came on strong for me in the fantasy playoffs. Uh, ended up in the top 10 of tight ends despite a slow start. Can he stay as, uh, keep that hot streak going into this year? Yeah, I mean, if we're pulling out gems like Jamal Charles out of Peterson's uh, history. We got the, uh, the Travis Kelsey there. Um, I think Hurts could maybe uh, just come alive, be the, that version of that in this new offense. I think he's got a shot to be the number one tight end in fantasy. Um, with Tom Brady, if he has to serve that suspension, that hurts Gronk. It might open the door for somebody else to be number one this year. I think Hurts might be that guy. All right, with our second bold prediction of the day, I'm probably going to wrap up this video. Please subscribe to the Anti-Fans here on YouTube. Leave your comments. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, thanks guys. Catch you next time. Thanks.